So cathode ray oscilloscope is uh, one measuring instrument which is uh, widely used to display various types of waveforms uh, from the output of an electronic circuit for debugging and testing purpose uh, the oscilloscope is used. So here the oscilloscope we are using so that is basically a dual channel oscilloscope. Uh, dual channel uh, means basically here you can uh, check, you can uh, apply, you can visualize two signal at a time. So this is uh, channel 1, so this one is channel 1, this one is uh, channel 2. Okay. And uh, that means uh, you can connect uh, two signal source at a time uh, here uh, in channel 1 and channel 2. And uh, the main thing here, there is a volt per division switch. So this switch and this switch, this one and this one. So th uh, that is uh, the um, volt per division switch for channel one and channel two. Actually in CRO scale, uh, uh, okay. So the grid is displayed here, okay. So the X and uh, the Y axis represent volt, okay. And uh, for the signal, the Y axis represent volt and the X axis represent the time scale, okay. That means this axis is basically the time and uh, this axis is basically the voltage and this knob so this is basically the time per division adjustment knob that means you can expand the signal horizontally along x axis by adjusting this knob to take a measurement uh, so you can adjust you can focus the signal you can uh, zoom the signal uh, as per uh, your requirement similarly if you want to vary the signal, if you want to stretch the signal along x axis, uh, sorry, y axis, then, then you can adjust this volt per division knob for each particular channel. Apart from that, there are some other uh, switches are present, some other uh, functions are present. Uh, uh, sometimes they are used for some specific application. Also, there is a focus intensity uh, switches, uh, which is available in almost all CRO and uh, which is used to focus uh, to in change the brightness and to change the focus of uh, your display. Okay. So those are the basic uh, adjustment control knobs and also um, that you can uh, shift the signal means uh, uh, by changing this y axis position. Okay, so that means you can uh, move the signal towards uh, up and down and similarly here is the x position knob here you can move the signal along uh, x okay along x direction in this direction okay uh, now in a this, this is a scenario for a real oscilloscope uh, but in virtual mode so when we are going to measure any signal so let us uh, see in our case so we are using the tinkercad software to measure see how the oscilloscope is used to measure the voltage and the time period that is frequency so <coughs> to use the tinkercad so you you have to go to tinkercad.com website and just create a free account and uh, from there you can go to tinkercad circuits okay now here see um, from the search button here so you can uh, just type oscilloscope and this type of uh, oscilloscope will come here and similarly, the function generator is available. So the function generator is used to generate different waveforms and uh, CRO is used to display the waveform. But remember that unlike a uh, real oscilloscope in Tinkercad, the CRO, the virtual CRO we are using, it is having only single channel. That means you can display only one waveform at a time. Suppose in a system, there is an input and there is an output. So you want to display both input and output at the same time. So it is not possible in Tinkercad by using a single CRO. So you have to use two oscilloscope. One is for input, another one is for output. Okay. So you cannot display both uh, input and output together. Also, if you want to see the phase change, the difference in phase by using Tinkercad, it is not possible. Okay. Now, uh, just uh, take a look on the CRO screen and uh, see how it is connected, the positive probe of uh, this uh, function generator, the signal generator connected to the red probe of CRO and uh, similarly the uh, black is connected to the black of CRO. You can change the sign of this uh, uh, wire by clicking the corresponding wire and you can change it. Okay. 
now you can adjust the signal generator so here different types of functions are available sine uh, triangular and square let it set to sine and uh, dc offset that uh, reference uh, level the dc level for the signal so here um, manually you can change it let it is zero amplitude that indicates peak to peak amplitude okay in tinkercad this five volt here uh, that indicates the peak to peak amplitude and the frequency of the generated signal okay so here also you can set the function during runtime and um, now see that uh, oscilloscope see along x and along y axis see the x axis uh, i told you that it is basically the time axis and y axis it is the voltage axis in x axis there are 10 big division 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 big division along y axis also there is 10 big division so total 10 big squares are present okay so let's uh, start the simulation then the things will be clear okay see here you can set different functions here so now the sine function is selected you can go for square okay and uh, and you can go for triangular waveform etc and also during runtime you can change the values of those signals here <coughs> if you are not getting display so uh, basically by default that uh, time uh, and voltage axis set to a different scale so you will not get the display okay so you will not get this type of sine wave at the beginning so what you can do so see that one kilohertz we are applying a signal frequency of one kilohertz that means the time per division will be uh, means the time period will be one millisecond the frequency of the signal 1k means the time period will be 1 millisecond okay so time period means basically here see the time period here so starting from this so it is basically this and this okay so from this to this so it's 1 millisecond so how we can change it see uh, if you click on the x-axis uh, see here in the time scale time per division is there so here you can change it as per your requirement okay so here I said time per division 0.5 millisecond. That means uh, that uh, time period 1 millisecond. So you will get the, that uh, two big squares. See here, starting from here, the time period represented by two big square, two big division. Starting from here, one division, two division. So each division, okay. See the time per division. Time per division set to 0.5 millisecond. So each big division represent 0.5 millisecond. So two big division means one millisecond. So the time period is one millisecond. From the CRO, we we got the result. Time period is one millisecond. So frequency is one kilohertz, and the same frequency we are applying. So this is the calculation process. And here, see the five millisecond means the total ten big division. That is five milliseconds. So each big division represents 0.5 millisecond, and uh, that is already set here. See 0.5 millisecond time per division. So since here along x there are total ten big division, so total time scale is 5 millisecond okay the same thing is true for voltage axis there are total 10 big division so uh, here it is displayed as 10 volt so each big division represent 1 volt okay so now see uh, our signal covers how much division this is 0.5 half this is 1 2 so total peak to peak it is coming 5 division so 5 division means uh, so each uh, the volt volt per division uh, okay so here this one will come automatically so 10 volt okay so that means total 10 division represents uh, 10 volt each division represents one volt so our signal covers five division so this is a 2.5 positive cycle negative cycle 2.5 so total peak to be five division that represents five volt so here in the signal generator we are also applying five volt so in this way we can measure the signal now if you change the time per division later uh, uh, from 0.5 i change it to 1 now each big division represent 1 millisecond so the signal will be compressed see here now the signal will be compressed because uh, our signal's frequency is 1 kilohertz so time period will be 1 millisecond so it will be within one square see starting from here within this so this is the time period now if you change it now see uh, the total will be 10 millisecond so you can change it let uh, i set it to 0.1 millisecond okay see what happens 0.1 millisecond the signal will be stretched okay so because uh, our frequency is one kilohertz so one millisecond so this the complete time cycle total 10 division will come each division represent 0.1 so total 10 division means one millisecond or thousand microsecond so in this way you can set uh, the scale 
and uh, in the tinker card and you can measure the frequency of any signal okay by using this virtual oscilloscope but remember that you can only display a single waveform if you want to display input and output of any circuit at the same time so it is not possible you have to use two separate oscilloscope in the tinker card